All right, we are checking out Silence to the Eyes. This is a demo. It looks like it's a graphic novel, and it's about mystery and about ghosts. So that seems kind of interesting. Let's check this out. It hurt me. When I was a little kid, I took pictures and looked for faces in them. I have quite a collection now. I keep an album or two above my bed at home. There wasn't a particular reason for what I took those pictures. I was going on gut feeling. I took them in the dark, in the corners of buildings, through windows to abandoned places. I took them on the stairways, like maybe I too could see someone descending them that wasn't there before. When my pictures printed, I scanned them for eyes and mouths, or even the shapes of hands. Did I find them? Did I ever capture a ghost on camera? I did so, and I have proof. Look at this, it's real. As a child, I would say, just once. Hey, wanna see something? I kept it hidden in my room, tucked it in the pages of an old children's book. I called it my lucky photo, even though I don't think I ever actually believed it gave me luck. With my camera, she followed me from my room. It wasn't my first picture, but it was the oldest I had in my possession, the last I took before I moved out of the house. No, no I'm not, don't call me that. One night, when I was in the third grade, it... I know now that ghost photography is usually the realm of trick photographers and skilled editors. But was my lucky photo a trick? No. But I can't show anyone anymore. Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm still like this. Don't judge me, but I was still in my pajamas for a second after having lunch. I would have worn my pajamas during the ride to the train station if I could. I like to stay warm for as long as possible. The front door slammed open outside my room. Ah. Shh. That's a great name, isn't it? I'ma call you Frisk. You kinda give me those vibes. Frisk, I'm home. Are you ready to go? Ready to go? I yanked off my pajamas and pulled on my clothes, quickly st stuffing the former in the suitcase I had abandoned on my bed. Don't, don't. I still have some time left. Um, not very much time. I really prefer if you were all ready now so we can head out right at 12. Are you packed? Um, I have some stuff I still need to take care of. Take care of it then. I'm glad you've got your suitcase out. Okay, mom. Okay, I'm gonna get some things ready for myself. I know she's right. I shouldn't put it all off to the last minute. It was simple enough to just pile clothes into my suitcase. They're already sorted for me. I would have to go hunting for the little necessities though. Well, I probably got a lot of them already in my coat. Speaking of that. With that heavy weight settling against my skin, a bit of the morning warmth returned. That felt much better. I should check the list again. I'm pretty sure whatever else I need is in here, if not in my bathroom. Hmm. What are we looking for? Candles? At the time, I only had old toys in this box. I haven't drawn in such a long time. Much less posted my crappy art anywhere for other people to see. But, like... What if I need to draw something? Maybe just like concept art. Yeah, so let's take that. Shouldn't live without this. Can't imagine I'll get very hurt up there though. You never know. You gotta be prepared for everything. I don't believe in monsters living under my bed. Though I would definitely, I definitely did once. But there was one time when a mouse ran out from under there while I was getting dressed. I don't know if you're a girl or if you're a boy, I'm sorry. I need new socks that don't bunch in my shoes. They'll do for now. Nice. Books. I had a lot of stuff in these books. Okay. Good morning. Mom had been using my bathroom a lot after we found mold in hers. She wrote me a message on the mirror that morning. Tacked up to the sides and the bottom were photos and sticky memorabilia. I like to have something nice to look at when I'm getting around. Cool. Cool mom. Wouldn't be good to forget these. 
I counted the pills up to make sure I hadn't missed those before putting them safely away. What is that? That's someone's notification from the Occultismus chat room. It's a chat room for people interested in the paranormal, from ghost hunting to alleged real life magic. There are various channels, places for sharing spooky stories, art, streaming, and general conversation. Although I don't know all of the people on there that well, I've got a few friends. One of them, Bit404, went silent about a year ago. His account was always offline after that. The bell that was his profile picture forever colorless. I wish people would give a warning when they disappear. My account was one with a dry eyes door. I was usually online. Ah, yes, my notification. Hey, a creek freak. <laughs> I passed out last night. Did you do the creepy pasta ritual already? Oh, actually, no. I got distracted packing. Oh, are you gonna do it today? I kinda want to. You should. Don't keep Creek from getting ready. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I just meant like, if you have the time. I think I do. Something I had been doing on request around the time was performing rituals that people on the server found from around the internet and reporting the results afterwards. The kinds of things where no one knows where they came from. Most of them are fake or made up for fun, but sometimes there will be a grain of truth behind one. Like most superstitions, I think. I had one more. I was planning to get out of the way before the whole visit to grandpa situation came up. Hey, what's this about a ritual? It's called mirror divination. It's... Yeah, it's called that. It's like a more involved Bloody Mary thing. The way it works is, you look into a mirror in a dimly lit room and awaken your reflection by whispering terrible things you will never do. Once it's awake, it will do things that you ask of it, like tell you truths about yourselves, give you good fortune, or inspire you to achieve more success in your life. Depends on what you want. But you have to be careful not to let it stay awake for too long or it will kill you. What? Does your reflection hate you that much? Well, your reflection is evil. It's only doing things for you because it just woke up. Yeah, so... The idea is that all the things at the beginning that you say you won't do, those are the things that your reflection would do if they were alive. See, your reflection is the opposite of whatever you are. As people are basically good, your mirror image will become basically bad. I don't know, man. The last part is debatable. I guess I understand. Anyway, I think I could knock it out today before I go. I just need my phone, some candles, and a med mediator, and I'll be good to go with my bathroom. What? Mediator? Shh. Oh, to distract your mirror self, you know, as a last resort. There's a link to the ritual in the Spooky Stories channel if you want to take a look. I put down the important things in my checklist. The loading time each time I looked on my phone was killing me. Okay. I'll report back soon. Or buzz you guys if I need something. Can do. Okay. Please don't neglect your real life responsibilities. I won't. <laughs> Bye. Mom bought me some candles in case of another power outage. I can use those. As for my mediator, I thought I had a doll here I could use. Where did I go? Hmm. Okay, let me grab the candles. I knew we were gonna use them, I just didn't know what for. <laughs> Cinnamon flavored. I don't like the smell, so maybe my reflection will. Good point, can't argue with that. Ah, it's right here, of course. I would die if my phone died during this trip. Yeah, we always have to take our charger. Alrighty. What, is, what was that? Got him. I don't know what that is, honestly. Grab the other candle. Candy apple flavor. Only the most standard Christmas flavors for this ritual. What is that? I've always hated things, hated this picture. But I never got around to finding a better one. I don't use the space much, it's for cleaning supplies. I used to keep a stash of secret snacks in here. But that was a bad idea. <laughs> gotcha. Teeth essentials. I stuck the brush in a bug in a baggie to keep it clean and added a tube of toothpaste while I was at it. Okay, that's everything off the list. Well then, let's do this. I set the candles up to frame the mirror, making sure to keep them at a decent distance apart. Hmm. Oh boy. Time to be afraid of matches. I 
coaxed out a match and struck it clumsily against the side. It burst into flame suddenly, and I nearly dropped it. It wavered a bit, but I managed to get the candles lit before dousing it in the sink. Right. Mom, you know what happened to that ragdoll that I brought back from the yard sale? That ragdoll? Are you taking it with you to the trip? No. Then what are you doing? Get around, I want to see a full suitcase outside your door. Sometime soon, maybe. Soon isn't a real-time estimate, I whispered. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk back to your mom. <laughs> Honey, have you gotten all your stuff around yet? I'm getting to it. Sheesh. I unzipped the top of my suitcase and stuffed everything I had collected. I checked my list over and zipped up with a grunt. I pulled the heavy thing down the door. Then slid out outside of my room like a peace offering to my problem. Hopefully, now she'll be more open to answering me. <laughs> One can only hope. Thank you for setting out your suitcase. Thanks, Mom. Uh, do you know what happened to my rag doll from the garage sale? Hmm. I thought you bought it for a chew toy. What? I'm sorry, I saw Andis carrying it around and I didn't stop him. He's probably dropped it somewhere. Sorry, kid. It's okay. Maybe all is not lost. Knowing Andis, he might have taken it outside with him. I should check out on the fire escape. That's a bit dangerous. There it is. <laughs> ah, and here it is. Darn it, it's all chewed on now. I guess that's my fault for not putting it away. I well, let's finally get to this. What else do we need to do? The ritual didn't specify where to set the doll exactly, so I just put it on the floor. In retrospect, they probably meant somewhere where you could see it in the mirror. Oh well, that's all I need to do. Let's kill the lights. Oh boy, here we go. Contact spirits. Sorry, gents. Into the drawers you go. There, nice and clean. These would spoil a spooky mood anyway. That's all I need to do. Let's kill the lights. Already. I was recording this on TikTok. I stare into my own reflection in the dim glow of the candlelight. The bathroom around me grew draped in flickering shadows, the corners and edges slowly fading from my vision. Though, obviously, it was just me and myself in here having our grim staring contest. Ah, oh, here it goes. I doubted I would really need it, but just in case I put the doll back into my coat, in case I really need to use it. I leveled my best glare at myself, stomach tight. I imagined how my reflection might be distorting soon. I've heard people say they've seen terrible things when they look enough into the mirror. I thought five minutes would be enough, so I set a timer on my phone. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. But during the whole five minutes, nothing happened. So then, I could say I tried the ritual. When those five minutes were up, I intoned. I'll never kill someone else. I'll never hurt a defenseless animal. I'll never stand by and watch someone else be hurt. I'll never bully someone for things they can't change. I'll never spread rumors behind someone else's back. I'll never forget what I saw when I was a kid. There's a lot. I should be seeing them for this. Whoa. What? Hello. Uh, hello? I mouthed the word, though I wasn't meaning to. What do you want? I... I want... I tried to speak for myself, but although I could still... Moved my lips when they weren't speaking, nothing came out. I guess it's their voice for now. Do you want me to tell you something true? I don't exactly have a lot of time. Are you going to answer me? Now what? Now we just try to not get killed. <laughs> I don't need to talk to communicate, I can use the pictures and recordings from my phone. Right. Okay, well, let's show it... No. Let's show the mom. Stop pesturing me. That's not the right answer. Am I waking them up too much? Hmm. Must be the doll. The seller said this was haunted. I knew he was playing me. Let's use it. 
In the original text for this ritual, all I needed to do was show the spirit my mediator and they would take their attention off me. My reflection does seem agitated, don't they? I'll hold it all up. So sweet. That helped. I don't know if that actually did help. <laughs> Let's check the recordings. It was the last picture I took before I moved out of the house. Someone stole my ghost photo when I was in third grade. One night, when I was in the third grade, it disappeared. Someone stole it. I see. You want to know who was responsible for your stolen memento? How about I answer this question with some of my own? Seems fair. I nodded. What lives in your house? It seems we're starting with an easy one. My dog? I shouldn't blame Andes, even if he's been here for like 40 years and should know better. Yes, and who else? Well, my mom. Mom? Or at least I would hope she's living here. Don't want an undead mom. Yes, and who else? Myself? Picture of me. I took it earlier today. Yes, and who else? I shook my head. Unless we had gained a very small squatter, there wasn't anybody else. That's right. That's all. Where do you keep your most treasured possessions? Uh... I keep my stuff all over the house. What is this supposed to mean? Actually, I think I remember something about that. Right! The picture shelf. I keep all my spooky camera work there. What are you hoping to achieve? Bringing back that old ghost photo. Oh, um... Was my lucky photo a trick? No, but I can't show anyone anymore. I just don't like being thought of as a liar. What else? What? That isn't enough? Beats me, I don't know what else I need to do. <laughs> it was the last picture I took before I moved out of the house. This one must be it. It was the oldest I had in my possession, the last I took before I moved out of the house. In other words, nostalgia. Maybe nostalgia is too pleasant, just something like it. I think the best proof of the supernatural would naturally be from where you were a kid. Before you learn how to use Photoshop. Yes, that is correct. Before I help you, someone has done something with my things. Show me what the culprit has ruined. How ominous. They're not accusing me, are they? You mean this? Mom, of course. Though most of that stuff is in the drawer, now anyway. You're right. However, as to who stole your photo, you already know the answer to that question too. Coward. No offense meant to you as a child. You were young, and it might not have occurred to you. We are older now, old enough to start being more aware of what others think of you and your interests. Right? How can you pretend that it isn't worrying you? Your friends, if you can call them friends. Your family, if you can call them a family. You flaunt your tempered memories and investigations to anyone willing to listen. Why haven't you noticed yet how it makes people look at you? Your real ghost that you try to convince everyone of. A trick? No. Yes, that's what you would say. And you wouldn't stop saying it until the proof was gone. Do you remember that? Who? Who do you think stole it? Who else lives here with you? And knew where it was kept? Who else stood to gain from getting you to shut up? When you shoved your ghost stories in other people's faces, didn't it reflect on her too? Well, pick someone. Must be mom. Yes, you see. You know what happened. You figured it out a long time ago. Were you pretending it was someone else? Someone who was jealous? Jealous of you? That is the truth I'll give you. That you're afraid of how you can't create another answer. Just ask her. Why would you ask her? Is it too much to handle for you to know how embarrassed she is? Poor mom. 
raising a child that makes her lose face every time they open their mouth. Hey, speaking of losing face. Honey, are you in the bathroom? Uh, yes. Uh, why are the lights off? I'm doing a thing. Rats. I flipped the lights back on. Then blew out the candles before scooting the doll away with my foot. I knew I should probably put the candles away too. Can you do this some other time? We have to go now. I'm done, I'm done. That's how I think it would have gone. What are you doing? Why were you starting something when I told you we have to go soon? I was finishing it up. I kept my phone in my pocket. I suppose Enafan was wondering how it had all gone back in the chat room. Not that I had much I could tell them. Hey, how was I supposed to put my reflection back to sleep? Well, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay then, come on. You sure that you have everything? Everything I need is either in my suitcase or in my coat. Alright, well, let's not miss the train. Hey mom. What? Never mind, let's get going. Okay, I put your suitcase in the car already. I strained my coat over my shoulders and headed for the door after mom. I sent a quick message over the chat room that I would catch the mom blade. Then I turned out the light. So, did the ritual with the mirror work? <laughs> no, my face didn't even change shape. Lame, you didn't do it right. I did it fine. It just wasn't real, told you. Oh uh, well, maybe you'll find something cool at your grandpa's place. I guess. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a demo, that was just a little taste, a little piece of what's about to come. If you're more interested about this game, you can definitely check it out. I will be leaving the link in the description down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.